All right, man. Uh, shit. Long time no see, man. My guy, Lil' Key. Uh, let's get this straight conversation series. It don't even matter, man. We just sitting out here. Mm -hmm. uh, I would like to say friends. I know you for a while now. Yeah. I've seen the growth. Um, I done seen... I just, growth is probably the, the main thing I would say, man. Um, I definitely uh, appreciate what you're doing for the city as an artist because you just keep elevating. You, yeah, uh, got you, to. You know what I'm saying? You keep growing. It's, 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 it's no stopping you. Um, so I don't even know where to start. Like, because I can't actually, like, who are you? Like, everybody know. But mm -hmm. what, what you been up to, man? Since the last time I saw you, since the last time I talked to you, I feel like the, the audience changed. It's, 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 I, at one point in time, everybody saw you from uh, the rap game. But I can't say that's the same no more. You know what I'm no, saying? Like, every, I, that's, I feel like that's so far long ago. Like, you got a new audience. So, like, how have you been? What you been up to? Um, for me, like, honestly, just been recording mad music. Like, mm -hmm. as of right now, you know, COVID shut all the shows down. But before then, like, definitely was locked in, traveling. But um, just been locked in the studios, um, locking in, getting mad music for this time. Like, we here now, so it's time to finally drop. Um, just shot a bunch of videos, so movies. Like, they right. on the way. Um, just about to show people um, with the new things that I got coming. Like, it's a lot of new shit that I got coming in. It's gonna be crazy, like, right. for sure. Like, when you say, like, the rap game, that was five years ago, so I ain't, I ain't gave them much since, so it's time to really go full steam and put everything I got behind right. this. And it's crazy, man, because I feel like um, when I talk to you, when I talk to D, I mm -hmm. feel like you guys want to show that you so much more than that. Yeah, Because of sure. course you are, and we know that, but we can't ignore the impact that, that it had on your career no, and facts. the help that it had for you. Yeah, it definitely was a stepping stool for sure. Like, that that show is national. Like, it don't matter, no matter where I go, I'm always recognized. You feel mm. me? Like, it don't matter where I go. I can go to Cali. People know me over there. Like, it don't matter wherever I'm at. Like, honestly, I got, like, a bigger, it's a bigger fan base outside of my city. Mm. So, like, that's just crazy like as an artist that's what you want that's what you pray for so um like but that show like definitely only shows a certain extent because you only can see whatever the challenge was mm. so you can only see those things like a lot of like you can't see a lot of the versatility um if that's not what the challenge is so so is it fair to say that you don't think you was really given a fair shot because um, of i think i was given a bit I, I think i was given a fair shot for sure like definitely i i, I gave it my all like every Every challenge was different and showed a different side of the artist. So I definitely think I got the fair shot, but it's still a lot of people ain't seen. Right. And we going to show them for sure. That's a fact. Yo, you, you, you mentioned one thing that um, I, we was joking before the interview saying how we was going to talk about all this other stuff. Mm -hmm. But now I'm really just interested in like the conversation that we're going in. And you, you mentioned about, you know, the, 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 the rap game giving you fans outside of your city. And that's what everybody want, right? That's what they mm -hmm. say. Yeah. But is that true? Is that what is that really what you want, or is that really what we want? Um, yeah, I say I say that's definitely what I want. I don't want to be known locally. Mm. You feel me? Like I want to be able to go on tour and sell out arenas in different cities. You feel me? So my goal is to definitely be bigger. You know, not just be known in my city. I, I definitely want my city to fuck with me and and rock with me. But I, that the money is everywhere. It's not just in Baltimore. So mm -hmm. you know. The fans and, and the support is, is everywhere. That's that's really what um, controls an artist's career. Mm -hmm. Them, the right. fans. Nah, it's crazy. I ask you that because, you know, I feel like even when I was like hosting and things like that, you know, like I was hosting outside of the city and it was dope. But I feel like as an artist, as a creative, as whoever that's making something, right, mm -hmm. we always want to be appreciated at home. Yeah, we do. I never, never degrading home never saying i don't want to be appreciated here i for sure want to be appreciated at home that's that's what you want because you always want to come back and show you love to the love. city yeah but you feel me like outside of the city you want that love too like right. you want to be loved everywhere like why limit the love you nah, feel facts. Me? but do you i guess what i'm asking is like do you feel the love at home though you know what I'm oh, saying? yeah for sure like definitely yeah when we came on tour here love was crazy like sold out the um pier six mm. bananas you feel me like but it's always the city always been behind me anytime i post a freestyle on a gram mad love mad repost whether it's the, like the city is behind me for sure everybody that's somewhere like that in the ranks here shows love even even like regular people they mm. always show love no matter where i go I'm taking pictures um tell people to pop out they popping out like is love regardless. So I guess I think your space is kind of is different, is unique because I feel like 
even like speaking to D, I feel like sometimes she feel like she's kind of overlooked, right? And I feel mm -hmm. like a lot of people that's in the, a lot of artists, right? You got to select few that's popping in the city, but I feel like a lot select few people that get popping. They like, man, I want, I want, I want to do shows here. I want to sell out shows here. But you're already doing that, so you're doing shows here and outside of. Mm -hmm. So it's like you. I, I feel like your situation might be different. Like yeah, because, for even sure. to hear, hear you speak about it, like you saying it's all love. Definitely. I fuck with that. Nah, yo, we talking about freestyles, right? You did a uh, freestyle on um, bars on I ninety five. Yeah. That was the last time you really came out. Yeah. Before like the pandemic and shit. Facts. How was that? Like, cause that, at that, that was, moment, I think they was huge at that moment. Yeah, like, they so still popping. Definitely. Like we had just, we just dropped it. We actually did it like last year. Mm. So um, like the, the end of towards last year, but like that, the energy was crazy. And then like, definitely shout out to the staff over there. My guys, A, B and C's like, they was, it was all, you know, came through and, you know, it was just, it was natural because, you know, one tape, like that's, that's what we do. Like it was one tape, it was just, the vibes and the energy was crazy. It was real hip hop, like mm. just do on the beat and spit. Like that's what it was. Right. So I, do you ever, bro, it's crazy. Cause like at the end of the day, like you selling out, have you ever like been nervous? Um, I get that question a lot though. So my thing is, I don't, I don't really get nervous or get butterflies when I'm ready to hit the stage or do anything. Cause I'm the type of guy I want I want people to see what I got. So mm. you know, and I believe in that. Like you only that that, that first that first impression is key. So yeah. it's like you might only get that one shot. That's a fact. And you ain't got time to sit there and like half step. So when I when I get that opportunity, wherever I'm at, like it don't matter. Like my I was brought up and told like it could be five people in the crowd, but it could be that one person in the crowd that could change your life mm. that you don't even know. So that's why like it don't matter where I'm at. Niggas gonna get the same key, regardless. I fuck with it, bro. Regardless. Yo, 21 year old key, man. So you're a grown ass man now, right? Thanks. Like, how you feel, dog? Do you feel like I'm a grown ass man or still, niggas still well, looking at me as a kid? I'm good. Like, you know, at the end of the day, I don't think people look at me as a kid, but I ain't gave them the music yet. But, mm. like, like I said, the music gonna speak for itself. Like, right. the shit I got coming is it's really different. Like, it's different. That's, that's all. That's, the only word I can really say that can describe it is different. Um, it's something they ain't heard from me. And I guarantee you, like, once we drop, it's going gonna, it's gonna to go crazy. But with different, I feel like, you know, a lot of people aren't used to different. That's why it's the word different, right? Mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of times people see something different and they shy away from it. You don't feel no pressure at all? It's no, I don't feel no pressure because at the end of the day, like, I got a solid fan base. I got people that fuck with me. And it's like, that's, that's what, um, as an artist, you got to realize, like, you gonna have those that that's not gonna like you. Like that's just that come with the game. Like mm. people not gonna rock with your music. People gonna say it's trash. You gonna have tons of people that's that's gonna rock with it. Which is your job to carry how you carry it. Mm. You know, like stay stay true to yourself. And like my thing, I'm I'm versatile. So it don't matter how the game go. If if niggas wanna spit, I can go bar for bar. If we want some melodic shit, I can do that too. Like mm. you, that's what I said. Like you want. Niggas gonna see, like, now nah, we saw it. But yo, so going back to, to the rap game, right? I mm -hmm. feel like, do you ever catch yourself chasing that fame again? Because again, that was a big part of your, that was a huge part of your career. We can't ignore it. I know a lot of times y'all don't want to talk about that shit, but it is what it is. Do you ever feel like you chasing that key at that moment, like the stardom, the the the, the fans that you had, or you feel like it's still the same? Like we we can't ignore it. Yeah, I don't I don't feel like I'm chasing that because mm -hmm. like um, there's no need to like that. Put if I'm chasing that, like I'm a constantly be put in that box mm. to where it's though like people only gonna remember me from that like okay. I don't want to be remembered just from a TV but show. not even a TV show per se let's say the fame though like the the level you were at at that moment do you feel mm -hmm. like you, you chasing that that fame or you want that that attention I'm trying I'm, I'm trying to go further than that to Facts. be honest what I'm chasing I'm chasing the top mm -hmm. like that wasn't even the top that was one of my peaks and like one of my highest points in my career for sure but I feel like it's way, I, I, it's way more to do than that. Like I can yeah. go further than that. So I'm looking beyond and past that. You know, I'm always appreciative for that. Like, and still those fans like that has watched that show. I still get comments to this day, like, cause it's on Netflix. Mm. So I still get people like hitting me like, yo, I just, I just got finished. Some people just now watching it like today. So it's like, yo, I just watched it. So it's like, some people haven't even seen the show and, and watching it to this day. So it's kind of like, I ain't really got to chase it because it's, it's still out there. there. Yeah. yeah, it's still there. That's such a blessing though. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's, it's definitely dope. Do you um do you have some of them connects still? Like some of them industry connects that you probably met back um, in the day? Yeah, if, well, on the show, 
Well, it could have been behind, behind a show like Jermaine Dupri, of course, like the people that he might have introduced you guys mm -hmm. to, like some of them. But guys. like, it's not like close, but like definitely like when I see him, like you see anybody I came across, it's definitely love. Like I talk to people every now and then when needed, or like just to catch up at times. But like, it's not an everyday thing, bro. It seemed like you, you, the place just hearing you speak, man. It seems like you're in such a good space. Yeah, and that's so good because you know a lot of artists. I don't even want to just put it as artists, entrepreneurs, everybody, mm -hmm. you know, like you never know what somebody going through. Right. And it's like a lot of us, we're chasing, we're just chasing something else. It seemed like you're really happy at where you are yeah. and, and I could feel it. Like I feel it coming off of you, man. And I fuck with it. Cause like I, a lot of the questions I wanted to ask, you, you know, like just, just becoming, going from a boy to a man. Mm -hmm. Right. And like, how do you feel about it? How it feel people treating you? And it just seems like you good. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> honestly, like I'm the type of guy, like, where I'm going to just be me in, in any given moment. So it's like even like transitioning from a boy to a man, like I feel like I've always been ahead of my time. So mm -hmm. it's like, you know, now I'm finally here of age legally, but we've been doing this. Like we've been yeah. going crazy. Bro, it's just. I know it's, bro, like I know, it's, it got to be some type of words you think about, right? Like, for example, like, I don't know, let's think, let's say Lil Bow Wow, right? Mm -hmm. Lil Bow Wow was probably the hottest dude at one particular time. And then it's like, when he transitioned, the, his audience didn't transition with him. You mm -hmm. never, like, worry about those things. Like, man, I don't want people to look, just look at me as little key because I'm not. I'm key. You know what I'm saying? You never think about none of that. Yeah, I mean, it can cross your mind at times, but I'm not going to make that a focal point. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not going to focus on that. Like, like I said before, like, people going to rock. If people going to rock with you, they're going to rock with you. You just got to show them you and, like, just be genuine because that's what, that's what the people fuck with the most. That's they fact. fuck with genuine, like, niggas if, like, if they feel it, like, feel like you faking it, that's what's going to cause people to back off. Mm. So, you know, like now, like I'm, I'm, away, I'm, I'm getting out in the scenes. You feel me? We in the clubs now. You feel me? We, we getting there with the people. Like you got to meet the people where they at. Like mm. that's what they like the most. Like you got to meet them exactly where they at and, and just rock with them. Like, so that's what I'm doing. I'm getting out here just grinding. It's like, it's, a, it's like starting all, it's not starting all over, but it's like starting over. Mm. You feel me? Because at the end of the day, it's a new audience now, you know, and even, even those Fans, that was my fans when I was younger, like they was kids, mm -hmm. they growing with me as well. So they around the same age as me, might be a few years younger than me, they still growing with me. So That's regardless, I feel like I'm always had them with me. Yo, we can't ignore like the the the, the foundation, right? Mm -hmm. Everything gotta have its foundation. And because I know you, like I, I was I was fortunate enough to be around some of your foundation and, and first of of all, like I and I know I might be just throwing this out there, but like it's not just you, right? It's God first, right? Facts. But then even after him, like you, your parents, you had a great support system. Like when mm -hmm. I was around you, like your mom was always around oh, yeah. you. Like how, how were your parents? Though? Always. I mean, my parents good. You feel mm -hmm. me? They street like mom Dukes. Like she, um, you know, she always was in a loop. Like that was my manager. You feel yeah. me? But like now she just stepped off to be moms now. You know, cause we just came to agreement. Like she did her job, and I thanked her. You feel me? Like so now, she she doing what she do. Like and. It's my, it's my turn to just take care of the business. You know, she like, that's, that's just what it is. But my parents, they, they good. Like, you know, you feel me? They, they straight, you know. A lot of people don't even got both parents in their life. Yeah. But I do. Like, that's, that's, that's why I wanted to that's highlight fortunate. that because that's yeah. definitely something that's fortunate. We need to, like, speak on these things a lot because mm -hmm. a lot of people... I feel like a lot of people want to highlight the, the struggle so much, but it's like, bro, like, it's nothing wrong with having, like, two parents in the crib like, that's making mm -hmm. sure you are, like, Facts. let's highlight the positive shit. A lot of niggas want to highlight the fake, the, the, the negative, like, I came from nothing type shit. It's like, bro, like, what does that mean? You get mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And I definitely want to um, contribute that to them because I, I, I see the energy, and it's definitely bigger than you, right? It's, it, and, we, and we can't ignore that. Right. Um, how, did your, how did your parents take it, though, from going that transition from a boy to a man? Because I feel like our parents always look at us as out their baby i mean right? that's, that's just like that's just parents that's parents me? 100%. Like, i don't even really say like that's yeah that's just really like parents but at the end of the day they accepted it because that's mm. you know so it wasn't hard for them yeah it, it wasn't really hard because like they know it, it's gonna come at some point so you feel me I, I guess you could say they probably prepared themselves for it but we here now and you know it ain't no turning back so i i'm speaking on that right so like i see you on the gram you on youtube you mm -hmm. got your girl, you got your lady. Mm -hmm. Like, first of all, congrats. Appreciate it. What made you want to um, have this public relationship? Like, what made you say, hey, let's, let's do the YouTube thing and everything? Um, with that, like, it was honestly like that. That just came about because 
again the fans like mm-hmm. they they was peeping like you liking the picture comment and it's like they putting two and two together so they put two and two together popped out and then it's like they asking for it so it's like that's one thing when you got a, a fan base and a support system like you gotta listen to what they asking for and what they want and we did that and mm-hmm. like that was probably one of the best decisions we've done like for our relationship for real you feel me like it's bringing in bread, like, and at the end of the day, like, it, it helps the bond. Like, it just mm-hmm. shows people, like, people want to be nosy. They want to be in your life. So, like, we vlogging on a daily basis when we doing stuff. They, they like to see different shit like that. So, you know, that's just what it is. Like, the subscribe count going up. Like, mm-hmm. you feel me? It's just, it's just another branch, like, that helps, you know, with music as well. Like, because at the end of the day, like, the intro that I did for the channel happened to be... A big record, you feel me? <laughs> Put it out and and it got like eighty thousand views now on the video. So it's like you feel me? It's going crazy. Like people want the music off of that as well. So it's it's a everything ties together. Yeah. Like everything ties. But bro, together. Come, bro, you gotta give me something because I feel like now I I got I, I I got a public relationship and shit, but we can't ignore. It'd be some trials and tribulations with that too, because mm-hmm. I feel like I feel like it'd be times you might not want to record, but you got to. Yeah. Because again, that's what they want. Mm-hmm. Talk about those times. Hey, them, it be like that. Like sometimes I ain't gonna lie, we didn't, we didn't just got into it and then got, got it together, <laughs> like, sit right in front of the camera, like, all right, like what we ready to do? You feel me? <laughs> but like that's just that's how do you that. get over those moments? Like in those moments when y'all just had an argument, now mm-hmm. y'all gotta record. How do you get over those moments to to get the work done? Because honestly, work like the work gotta get done. Like that's that's just the mission. Like mm-hmm. the mission is work has to be done no matter what. What like, are some of the things you guys do to help make it easy though, to, to get the work done after coming through them, them hard times, them arguments that you just had? Um, take a breather, might give us some space real quick. Mm. Just, you know, like go ahead, I might go do me for, for a couple minutes, come back and then refresh, just reset. Like that, that's with anything, that's with that, like with a relationship and same with um, like music. Like mm. sometimes I might, you know, might get into it with the managers or something, you feel me? And we not seeing it, I can mm-hmm. see you mm-hmm. getting a tour with your, your manager because yeah. that nigga is a fucking headache. You feel me? We, <laughs> we, we, not, we, not, we might not be seeing eye to eye. We might both got different ideas, but that happens. So it's like sometimes you might just got to go off separate ways real quick, come back, and then get it together. And at the end of the day, just remember that it's all love, right? Mm-hmm. Because even though somebody could be a headache, like they're making the choice to be here for each other, no matter what, we know that he got my back, he got my best interest, and, and, or she got my best interest. Bro. I got the perfect transition, right? Remember what we talking about before the interview? Yeah, what's up? So, we can't ignore this. Becoming a man, you got a girlfriend, and I think, but we gotta be real, as men, right? We can't ignore how much the relationship bring us more attention from the ladies. Mm-hmm. Have you seen? Have you seen that? Like ha- oh, since yeah. you had your girl, like so many other ladies want to. That's a fact. That's a fact. That always. I mean. That just happens. Like, <laughs> that's a fact. Like they see the glisten glam and they want it. So oh, feel? he a good man. Oh, I, <laughs> oh, I need. What's yeah. the what's the craziest DM you, DM you probably got since you had a relationship? Um, the crazy. And you ignored DM? it, of course. You feel me? Yeah. I'm, I'm sure you ignored it, but I'm, you probably saw it and be like, man, what she is wilding. But what's the craziest one? Man, I didn't probably got some some DMs saying like they can join in on stuff, like just wilding, <laughs> like. Like what? Like I mean, but you, you grown now. You ready for that? Hey man, <laughs> <laughs> no, you crazy. I mean, is, is is that what you went to now? Like no, nah, you feel me? I'm, I'm focused on I'm focused on my league. Oh now, okay. Oh, oh, I mean, sh- I mean, grown ups do what grown ups do. Y'all both hey. might be focused on. <laughs> Yo, it's it's so weird talking. Like it's funny, right? We was having a conversation before the uh, interview, and, and your manager was like, "Yo, talk about everything," mm-hmm. and I'm like. I can't, it's weird because to talk about everything with you, like we got to kind of like go into personal life and that goes into like you, your relationship and like, I don't know. You feel me? Like, I just think like, it's just, it's weird. So just, 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 just bear with me if I ask a, a question that's uncomfortable for you, all right? Gotcha. But yeah, so like I was asking, um, as far as that, is that something that you guys, would you think you'd be open to that in, in like, in the long run? Um. Or that's something you ain't anything about? Yeah, I'm, nah. It's all good. <laughs> we ain't gonna, t- all we ain't good. gonna touch on that. I don't feel like. Oh, so that's God. the craziest DM you got. Yeah, probably the craziest DM I got. Mm. Okay, because for me, I'm thinking like that's probably regular, but 
You said that's <laughs> regular. I mean, <laughs> this man said that's regular. No, 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 no. That's been crazy. Like it's just, I don't know. Like when when I get questions like that, like we try, we might be scrambling, trying to think. Like damn, what is the craziest mm. thing? So it's like I don't, I can't even think right off top. Nah. I mean, but you a star though, so you probably got a lot of crazy. You, you probably got some crazy DMs that that's crazy to me. That's probably regular to you. To keep it a hundred, like, cause mm -hmm. you you can't ignore it. Like, you, you, your stardom is a little different. Like, you know Thanks. what I'm saying? Like, you got a, you got a blue check. We can't ignore none of that. Yeah. But um, I definitely uh, appreciate you coming for the interview, bro. I, I appreciate the talk. I mean, it's always a good time with you, man. Um, what are some of the things that you're working on? Cause we talking about the music. You talking about you, you got something different for people. What are some of the things that you're working on? Um, so I got a record that's about to come out, probably within like a few weeks, mm -hmm. month tops. Um, called Diamonds. Um, so I've been working on that one like crazy, heavy. Um, previewed it on the gram. People have been loving it. So um, that's what we've been working on. Like, this is a lot of like a lot of music. Like literally just been music. Like every day. Like I feel like I come up with a better record. Mm -hmm. Like so. That's that's really like been my focus in putting together a project. Mm -hmm. um, trying to decide if I if I want to do like an album, like an EP or what. Like so. As of right now, like we gonna start off with the single, get the people and just start feeding people the music and seeing seeing what they fucking with. It's crazy because you say you know you feel like every day you got a better record, mm -hmm. right? Um, so how do you choose which records to put out there or which records to put on the EP? Man, that's hard. Like it's it's hard. Like I ain't gonna lie to you. I just had just was going back and forth with my manager about that the other day on the phone. He called me like, "Yo, I ain't gonna lie to you." That's all trash. Like, I don't, <laughs> you don't drop that. And I'm like, what? Like, I fuck with it. Like, he like, nah, drop this one. So I'm like, all right. Then, but then my, my other manager like, nah, drop this one. So it's like, everybody got a different opinion right. on what we should drop. But so we all, we just all had to sit down and just really come to an agreement. Like, all right, what we going, what we going to focus on? Like, right. what we going to drop? Um, and like, you just sit down and think of the strongest records. Um, what's the wave right now? Mm -hmm. What people, like, what's the sound people want to hear? Um, and also the records that I put out in preview, like, what's the record that got the most engagement? What, mm -hmm. what is the one that they want the most? And that's what we had to sit down and map out. You always can go to Chris Brown route and just drop like, what was it, like 90 songs? Man, that <laughs> nigga dropped like a- Like, like 100 a songs. Real talk on, on one project. Do you think, um, so you was talking about the actual, the, the song that you did, the, uh, the intro for, you mm -hmm. and your lady in the page, right? Mm -hmm. Do you think you got to make more music like that? Because you said that did really good. Yeah, no, nah, um, it was melodic. So I like uh, people, like I found, I found my niche and I found like my sound. Okay. And people like that. When I, when I do like that singing melodic rap type joint, they really like my voice. So that's the way that I've been on. And um, every time like I put something out there, like they've been loving it. They like it more than the rap rap. So mm. that's what I had to jump into that lane. I personally like the rap key. Yeah, I mean you ain't, but you ain't heard the melodic key as well. All right, I mean maybe I got maybe I got to sit down and listen, but I like the rap key, like cause I, I like when you get you sit down and get in your bag, cause it shows, cause you're so intelligent and, and it shows in the raps. Like mm -hmm. that's that's just my see that's personal. the that's the thing. That's why I said it make it different, cause even with the melodic sound, it's still rap. You okay, feel me? it's still bars. Okay, it's still like I'm never getting away from that. You feel me? I'm, I'm never going to get away from the substance of rap. Like, mm. that's just me. That's in me. Nah, well, again, man, I appreciate you coming having a conversation with me. Uh, I'm I'm definitely looking forward to what's next, what's mm -hmm. going on. Hopefully, I'm going to be right beside you, man. Once you go hey, on man. tour, hey, you got to holler at me like, yo, Jay, let's, uh, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to be right beside you in the, in the back. Well, I might just have to cop the... The standard general mission ticket. I'm gonna oh, be nah. there regardless. <laughs> you know, we, we, we know, you know, we there, man. No, already, time man. Coming, like, already. We just been, we been waiting for this time, and it's coming. Like, Yo, I just, I feel it. You know, sometimes you can really feel like when something about to happen, right. and that's that's how that's just how the feeling I've been getting lately is that something about to happen. Like, no facts. Yo, again, man. Um, I'm looking forward to it, man. Uh, anytime you need any extra support, you know, mm -hmm. I'm. On the radio in DC, you can send me some shit, whatever, and I'll make it work. And uh, tough. that's pretty much it, man. Uh, my guy, Lil Key. I guess for the people that might not know, you can tell them where to follow you at. But hey, I feel like they're gonna know. Everybody know where to follow me at, man. It's B more Lil Key, B M O R E L I L K E Y. That's on everything. Already, um, conversation series, man. Let's get this straight, my guy, Lil Key, Mr. J Hill is a rap. We out. <laughs>